Hey there, welcome to the tutorial. First, we'll focus on climbing. Later, we'll talk about stamina and chalk. So, let's get started. Look up and find the flag. Flags mark checkpoints. Okay, to take hold of a grip, use your left or right grip trigger. Each controller maps directly to the hands you see. Now let's start climbing. Use the controls to grab and hold on to a grip. You've reached the save point. If you fall, you will always restart at the last save point you activated. Some grips can only be reached by jumping. To do this, look in the direction you want to jump and press the jump button. You might need to reach out to hold on to another grip. You can also jump by looking in the direction you want to leap and then quickly pushing yourself off from the wall. Release the hand you've pushed with and reach out with the other hand to hold on to another grip. Very good. You made it. Place both hands on the ledge and pull yourself up by pushing both controls. Well done. At a checkpoint, the timer is paused until you are ready to continue. You can check how much time has passed on your watch. Okay, now let's talk about stamina and chalk. The amount of stamina for each hand is displayed on the hand itself. Look at the stamina indicator to continue. Hold on to the grip with one hand until your stamina is fully depleted. If you hold on to a grip with one hand, that hand loses stamina, while your free hand regains stamina. If you hold on with both hands, both regain stamina. You can increase your total stamina by chalking your hands. To chalk your hands, Hold the chalk trigger on the controller and twist your wrist. A sound will inform you when you're done. Chalk depletes every time you grab a grip, so make sure to re-chalk your hands often. Now press the hint button to see your next route. You can do this anytime. Okay, let's continue. On some grips, you can slide down. You will fall off at the end though, and sometimes you might need to jump in time to reach the next grip. Whoa! Whoa! You also lose stamina by jumping or falling. Sometimes it's a good idea to grab with both hands above your head. Climb across these bars to get to the other side. You may need to stretch your arms a little further to do it. 
In some places, you can use a zip line to cross larger gaps. Grab both handles to set it in motion. If you let go with one hand, the zip line stops. Remember, holding with only one hand drains your stamina. The second checkpoint is getting close. Well done. Let's take a small break before continuing. Let's talk about grips now. There are different kinds of grips that affect climbing in different ways. Crumbling grips break off after you grab them, so make sure to pass them as quickly as you can. Oh. It looks like this is a dead end. But don't worry, you can rewind yourself to get back to the last checkpoint. Let's use the rewind button to go back. Oh, oh. Very good, you made it! But remember, you can only rewind once per climb. Okay, let's continue. You can maintain stamina by using the half-press technique. Look at the half-press indicator and slowly press the grip trigger down halfway to max. When it turns blue, you are in the ideal range. Okay, let's continue. Hold on to this technical grip with a half-press for a few seconds. Great job. Half press is not required to climb, but if you master this technique, you can climb without chalking. You can try this out again on the next grips. Technical grips drain your stamina more quickly than normal grips. You can use the half press technique here to maintain your stamina. are dirty and you have to clean them before grabbing them. To clean a grip, reach out and hold the grip button in range. Once clean, your hand will grab the grip automatically.
Grips have sharp edges. Gripping a sharp edge affects your vision and drains a lot of stamina all at once. While gripping a sharp edged grip, the hand holding it cannot regain stamina. Congratulations.
Ah! <laughs> 